Have you ever watched a current footballer do their thing on the field and instantly got hit with those flashbacks of the legends? Happens all the time, right? Well, today, we're diving into that exact vibe. These are 10 footballers who totally remind us of the legends from back in the day. Let's go. All right, let's kick things off with the obvious one, Kylian Mbappe. And let's be real, there's only one person he reminds us of, Thierry Henry. Didn't catch Henry in his prime? No worries. Just watch Mbappe. It's practically the same show. The pace, the skill, the killer instinct, the playmaking, it's all there. They're even versatile in the same way, preferring the left side of the attack, but can easily switch to the right, play down the middle, or operate behind the striker. The way Mbappe receives the ball, controls it, and then bursts past defenders is vintage Henri, straight out of his Arsenal days. And if you missed prime Henri, trust us, he was one of the fastest players on the planet back then, just like Mbappe is now. Plus, they both kicked off at Monaco and won the World Cup with France as youngsters. That's just wild, right? The only thing that differs is one played for Barcelona, and the other will now play for Real Madrid. Just by watching Henri and Mbappe, you can see the striking similarities. But if you need more proof, we've got confirmation from one of the greatest minds in football, Arsene Wenger. Having worked with Thierry Henry for years, Wenger himself has said that Mbappé is practically an Henry regen. Mbappé's media rival, Erling Haaland, is like the second coming of Zlatan Ibrahimović, and it totally makes sense because they're both from those chilly Nordic countries. They're both giants, crazy athletic, and their playing styles are eerily similar. Even their hairstyles match up. You check out some of the goals Holland has banged in during his young career, and you're like, only Zlatan could pull that off. And hey, when Pep Guardiola, who's managed both these beasts, pointed out the resemblance, you know it's legit. But can we all see which legend Jude Bellingham draws comparisons to? Drop that name in the comments, and we'll get to it later. For now, let's talk about Holland's strike partner, Julian Alvarez. This dude totally channels Sergio Aguero, a compact powerhouse center forward with a rocket shot, slick ball control, fantastic at carrying the ball, and a killer at converting from the near post. He plays for Manchester City and leads the line for Argentina. Depending on when you're saying it, you could be talking about either Julian Alvarez or Sergio Aguero. Even Aguero himself sees the similarities. Bet the Man City scouts spotted it too. And that's why they snapped up Alvarez right after Aguero's departure. All right, let's talk about Jude Bellingham. If you guessed he reminds us of Zidane, then you're seeing exactly what we see. The way Bellingham glides across the pitch with his tall and slender frame is so reminiscent of the three-time FIFA World Player of the Year. Both stand at six foot one, and while they might not look fast, they cover ground quickly with those long strides. They can play just behind the striker or deeper in midfield, and Bellingham loves to score goals, much like Zidane did in his day. Imagine how incredible it would be to see Bellingham work under Zidane. Bellingham himself sees these similarities, naming Zidane as one of his biggest role models. He even switched from his number 22 to number 5 when he moved to Madrid to honor the French icon. But we've got to be real here. While there are definite similarities, any version of Zidane is miles ahead of Bellingham in terms of technical ability. Bellingham is still young and has a lot of room to improve, but matching Zidane's technical prowess is a tall order. The French legend was on another level. However, Bellingham might surpass Zidane in the modern game when it comes to goal scoring. Meanwhile, you also can't miss the similarities between Pedri and Iniesta. Pedri can slice through defenses with ease, just like Iniesta did in his prime. They both have a knack for scoring those crucial goals for club and country. Everyone says it. Pedri is here to take over from Iniesta at both Barcelona and Spain. Why else would Barcelona hand him the number 8 jersey that Iniesta used to wear? It's because they see it too. Pedri is the new Iniesta. But if Pedri is the new Iniesta, who then is the new Xavi? We'll get to that in a bit, but first, let's talk about Martin Odegaard. He definitely reminds us of David Silva. You see it, don't you? A silky attacking midfielder, perfect as an 8 or a 10. Both are excellent at driving through the heart of the opposition defense, finding pockets of space, and creating goal-scoring opportunities, sometimes even scoring themselves. However, we still have to respect the OG. We love Odegaard, but he doesn't quite match Silva's technical ability. But for goal scoring, you gotta give it to Odegaard. Anyway, the baller who reminds us of Xavi is Silva's former teammate, Ilkay Gundogan. Have you seen Gundogan's movement with the ball? It's so reminiscent of Xavi. The way they both scan the field before receiving the ball and then deliver those precise long-range passes is spot on. 
Plus, just like Xavi, Gundogan excels at starting as a deep-lying playmaker and then finding himself in the right spots to score crucial goals. They're both incredible leaders. And it's pretty fitting that Gundogan played under Xavi. Sure, Xavi in his prime was a better all-round player, but you can't deny that Gundogan gives off serious Xavi vibes. Speaking of Barcelona, let's talk about two former Barca legends who are just too damn similar, Neymar and Ronaldinho. Seriously, the football world is always comparing these two because they're like mirror images of each other. Neymar can pull off every trick Ronaldinho used to, and that's why they always seem to light up those charity games together. They just click so well. Like Ronaldinho, Neymar can play anywhere along the front line and even drop into midfield. Both are dribbling maestros, goal scorers, creators, set-piece specialists, and they bring a fun vibe to everything they do. Want to see a perfect elastico, rainbow flick, or step over? Just call on either Ronaldinho or Neymar to deliver. Now, let's talk about Dominic Soboslai. This guy is a Steven Gerrard regen. Did you catch that goal he scored against Leicester City? If that didn't scream Stevie G, you probably never watched Gerrard play. Their styles are strikingly similar. They both love to fire in shots from outside the box, excel at set pieces, and have a similar versatility. Center midfield, attacking midfield, right midfield, Prime Gerard and Zoboslai can dominate in all those positions. And let's not forget their leadership qualities. Gerard started captaining Liverpool at 23, while Soboslai took the armband for Hungary at just 22. You can't deny the similarities there. On the other hand, William Saliba has drawn comparisons to the legendary Rio Ferdinand for several reasons. Both players are known for their composure and ability to read the game exceptionally well. They rarely panic under pressure and make decisive interceptions. Both are tall, strong, and athletic defenders, capable of winning aerial duels and holding their own against physical strikers. Both players possess excellent ball-playing skills and can initiate attacks from the back. Both have shown leadership on the pitch, organizing their defenses and inspiring their teammates. Even former Arsenal defender William Gallas has said that Saliba reminds him of Ferdinand. To wrap things up, let's talk about Evan Ferguson, who reminds us of Erling Haaland. Sure, Haaland is still young and hasn't reached the iconic status of Aguero, Ronaldinho or Ferdinand, but the similarities are just too striking to ignore. Every time you watch Ferguson lead the line for Brighton, it's hard not to see him as the new Haaland, even though Haaland is still carving out his own legacy. And let's be honest, it's Ferguson's Holland-like profile that makes us shudder at the thought of the price tag Brighton will slap on him when they're ready to cash in. Some honorable mentions here are Eduardo Camavinga, who reminds us of Clarence Seedorf, and Joshua Kimmich, who reminds us of Philip Lahm. Feel free to keep the list going in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time. Goodbye.